everyone. My name's Craig and I'm here at Coots Paradise, also known as Dundas Marsh in Hamilton, Ontario. I'm standing on the edge of Princess Point with a spectacular view of the marsh. You may know Hamilton by one of its nicknames, the City of Waterfalls, because of all the creeks and streams that flow over the Niagara Escarpment throughout the city. Many of those creeks end up here in Coots Paradise. At the west end of the marsh is the mouth of what begins as Ancaster Creek, a very important cold water creek that begins 10 kilometers away and 170 meters higher up on the escarpment. I'm going to take you on a personal tour of Ancaster Creek to show you why it's so important and why we need to protect it. So come on, let's follow the flow of Ancaster Creek. Let's begin at the beginning. This is the Garner Marsh in Ancaster, Ontario and headwaters of Ancaster Creek. It might not look like much to you right now, but don't underestimate its importance. It's one of the few wetlands remaining in Hamilton. Within the Ancaster Creek sub-watershed area, 96% of the wetlands have already been lost to development. Said differently, humans have already destroyed virtually all the wetlands in the area. And that's a huge concern because wetlands are nature's way of controlling water and preventing the flooding that we're so often seeing now during extreme weather events fueled by climate change. The precious rarity of these particular wetlands and their capability to manage flooding is not the only reason they and these headwaters are crucial for Hamilton. The source water for this creek comes from natural springs that emerge from the groundwater below where I'm standing. That creates water that is relatively cold compared to other creeks and that allows it to support many unique species. So of course this area should be protected, right? Well, definitely, and yet there's an active proposal to build 1.3 million square feet of warehouses right here on top of the headwaters destroying the marsh. I'll tell you more about this on our journey downstream. We're now one and a half kilometers from where we started, heading north through Ancaster. We're in an area bound by the Garner neighborhood to the west, the Hamilton Golf and Country Club to the north, and Highway 403 to the south. This entire natural area is being considered for development, which would only put further stress on Ancaster Creek. And there's already shoreline erosion here, which can only get worse as development intensifies. At this point, the creek travels through private property on the Hamilton Golf and Country Club grounds. As it travels through the golf course, the creek meanders back and forth, which is what water will do when left in its natural state. This is an expensive private golf course, so few will ever be able to see it in person, but this aerial shot gives us a nice view of it. I hope you've enjoyed the first leg of our journey. I'll be back soon and we'll continue following the flow of Ancaster Creek.